time, students at an Elkhorn school returned to class this morning after the district sent a stranger danger alert to parents yesterday afternoon. The alert went out following a young girl's scary encounter on the way to school. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Andrea Flores spoke with concerned parents earlier this morning, and she joins us now live in the news center with the story. Andrea. Well, Matt, Deanne, we spent the morning near both Grandview Middle School and Sagewood Elementary to see just how different today's walk to school was and what we found was surprising. It was your average Friday morning in this quiet Elkhorn neighborhood, but despite a stranger danger alert emailed to parents Thursday afternoon, kids were still seen walking alone. But Elkhorn resident Steve Bojanski says that won't be the case for his kids. I normally walk my kids to school and then uh, I think I'm going to walk up and pick them up too for a couple more days or at least till the school year ends. Elkhorn school administrators say a young girl was walking to Grandview Middle School along HWS Cleveland Boulevard Thursday morning when a man in a gray or silver pickup truck offered her a ride. The girl was able to run away and call police, but parents like Jenny Menino are going the extra mile to make sure their kids stay out of harm's way. Definitely surprised that it happened in this area, but very happy that the school district made a point to share that information with us. Mm -hmm. I went home that day and I talked to my kids both about, you know, who do we go with uh, when somebody rolls down their window and says, get in the car, do you go with them? No, you don't go with them. While Douglas County Sheriff's deputies patrolling the area did give Menino some peace of mind, she says she'll continue to walk her kids to school with a group of neighbors. You know, they play around. We think this is a safe neighborhood and, you know, one minute she could be down at the end of the street and you never know. Mm -hmm. So. Now, school administrators ask that you remind your kids to never take a ride with a stranger and consider having your kids walk to and from school with a large group. Reporting live from the News Center, Andrea Flores, KMTV Action 3 News. Andrea.